So if you're an O-level or IGCSE math, ad maths, or an A-level math student, then this video is definitely for you. What I'm about to share with you guys is something that I have been thinking of working on for a very long time, but haven't been able to find the time to do it. So a quick shout out to my team for making this possible. So has this ever happened to you that you just attempted a yearly pass paper to kind of test your preparation? And after looking at your marks, you're just sitting there wondering if you should even give the exam in the following session. Well, you're not alone. See, when you're solving a past paper, you need to take two things into account. Number one, the difficulty level of that paper, and number two, the grade threshold. So first, let's see how grades are normally calculated in school. Let's say you have solved math paper one, which is out of 80 marks, and you've scored 60. So 60 out of 80, if you do the math, is 75%, which is a B. But that's the wrong way to do it, because this is absolute grading, which means that the grades as per percentage are already fixed without taking into account the difficulty level of the exam. So this is where grade threshold comes in. So what grade threshold does is that it just levels the playing field. So if let's say that the exam is considerably difficult, then naturally the amount of marks that you need to score in order to get an A are lower compared to an easy exam. Now, finally, to solve this problem, allow me to introduce you to this magic grade calculator. Here is something that will calculate your grade for you. All you have to do is simply enter your marks. You'll find a link to it in the description. And let's see how it works. So here it is. This is what I'm talking about. Now, this one is for O-level math, as you can see, 4024. But you'll find this for IGCSE math, you'll find this for ad maths, and you'll also find this for A-level math. Now, as you can see over here in this column, we have all the years. Okay, in the column next to it, you have all the sessions, the October, November session, and the May, June session. And then the column next to it has all the papers, paper one, paper two, including the variance. So let's say, let's just scroll down to 2018. Okay, now let's say you've just solved May, June 2018, paper 12. Okay, and in paper one, let's say you've gotten 50 on 80. Okay, so all you have to do is just enter your marks and you can see that on a 50 on 80 in just paper one is actually giving you a B. Now, the reason why the overall grade, as you can see that this is right here, the final grade is lower because we haven't entered paper two marks yet. So now if we enter paper two marks, which is out of 100, let's say that you've ended up with 70. Okay, so there you go. You end up with a B. Now, if this was your school, so 70 and 50 would have probably gotten you like a C or perhaps even lower. So let's say if uh, if you end up scoring 75, let's see what happens. So see at 69.5%, which is a C at best, you're actually getting an A. OK, why? Because what what has happened now is that the grade has been calculated after taking into account the threshold and there you go. You're now getting an A. Yeah. What more do you want? How cool is that? Now, just quickly, one thing that I want to say before I leave you guys is this. The whole purpose of this is to not lower the bar. It is just to give you all a true picture of what your score actually represents. Now, I understand that you all are working hard, but sometimes the score that you get is not reflecting that. So this is just to keep you guys motivated. It is so that you can see the result of your hard work. So I hope this helps. And if you, if you like this video, don't forget to share it with your friends. If you think that you can use this video to motivate your other friends, then do share it with them. And that's it. That's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care.